To a new chapter in space exploration, NASA's Artemis mission is about to begin. Tonight, its next generation spaceship with the world's most powerful rocket is on the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center, ready for the test flight that will pave the way for humans to return to the moon for the first time in 50 years. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Three, two, one. Tonight, more than half a century after the Apollo missions paved America's way to the moon, we're once again counting down to a new era in space exploration. Monday's planned Artemis 1 mission is NASA's first launch of its new Space Launch System, or SLS. The rocket standing 322 feet tall, taller than the Statue of Liberty. It's the most powerful one ever built. Unlike SpaceX, this rocket is not reusable. Only the Orion spacecraft will return to Earth after it orbits the moon. No human will be on board for this first test. It will only be about 60 miles from the surface of the moon. The hope is to build a moon base to explore deep space. We're planning to set up a base camp there on the surface of the moon and develop technologies and operational practices that will set us up to go further on to Mars. From there, Orion's trek back to Earth will reach speeds of 25,000 miles per hour, generating temperatures more than 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. NASA plans to test Orion to its limits. And if everything goes as planned, it could be another giant step for humankind. And with this whole mission takes 42 days. If it goes well, NASA plans to do it all over again in 2024 with astronauts on board. What? An exciting new phase, Geo. Thanks so much. And ABC News will carry the launch live on Monday morning. The launch window opens at 8.33 Eastern. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.